meet its responsibilities for safeguarding the peace and security of the United States, the Army sends many men overseas to the crucial defense positions of the free world. These men are trained both as combat soldiers and specialists. Possessors of special skills, talent, and know-how the Army needs in the right place at the right time. The modern Army is coming to be a union of specialized skills. And the Army is devoting more and more attention to the intricate personnel problem of placing a man and his skill precisely where needed. Now, how the Army does this job is the subject of the opening story of today's big picture where we go first to Fort Ord, California, as an outfit prepares to leave for overseas duty. When a soldier ships out in peacetime, farewell scenes are very much the same. A trace of sadness, tears, stiff upper lips, tender promises to write letters sealed with kisses, and every day too, yes dear. You hear last minute talk about practical matters, but some do practically no talking at all. And who is there to blame them? Shutters click and the big day is recorded for posterity and future family albums. Not long afterwards at the pier, the cool salt air is fragrant with the aroma of coffee and donuts served up by Red Cross volunteer workers. Practically a tradition whenever American soldiers ship overseas. They load aboard the LCMs, which will take them out to the transport, General Walker, anchored in Monterey Bay. Then, on to Bremerhaven.